Uh, this is where you ask me some questions, we do the thing. My name's Charlie Mack. I'm a paranormal investigator in uh, Thousand Oaks by way of Australia, obviously. And, uh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry, do you, did you want me to look at you or in the camera? Or... Take one. Should I stop eating the gummy bears? They're pretty good. Jeff Hahn, a paranormal guru. No, I'm not taking the sunglasses off. You take your sunglasses off. Jeff and Charlie were always a bit off. Very paranormal, I eh? Shut up, Charlie. What? What is that? Can you feel that energy? I think that might be. No, that's a leaf. No, it's a leaf. No. I thought it was ectoplasm or something. I'm Sylvia Violet, head of the board of directors of the Thousand Oaks Hometown Pride Department. I met Jeff and Charlie early 2013 when they were just getting started. We got something! Hold on. Jeff knows everything. It's pretty amazing. He just picks this stuff up. Jeff was a bit of a loner until he met Charlie. You're never really alone if you have a smile in your heart. Uh, but if you're asking if I have any friends, uh, well, the answer would be no. Ooh, how did I get into paranormal investigating? Born with it. A paranormal guru can walk into a room and feel the air. Taste the sound. See the colors. I'm colorblind, so it's a bigger deal when it happens. Yeah, I was in a bad place, you know? Just didn't know where I was going in life, and then I saw a sign. No, I, I literally saw a sign. I mean, he was pointing at a ghost, but I tell you, <laughs> it felt like he was pointing at me. I told myself, if I get one call from that sign, it'd be worth the money. So, I called him. Said, so? You want to investigate the paranormal? I don't even know what you're talking about, mate. But uh, he took me in. Yeah, that was... That was the happiest I was in a long time. When Jamie went missing, it tore those dudes apart. I was so in my feels when they split up. They were squad goals. I thought they were gonna last forever. And then poof, life gets in the way. Really sucked. You know, they were so easy to prank when they were together. Now I gotta go to two different locations. And I don't got time for that. Thing in the woods. Yeah. Had to have been about uh, two years ago now. We were never able to solve that case. And at this point, I really don't think anyone will. That poor girl, no one deserves that. No one. It was a warm day in July. A perfect day for a walk, really. Somewhere along the way, Jamie got lost. Fortunately for her, someone found her. Or rather, something. knows what the thing in the woods is. I saw him. It was a man. I'm telling you, it was a ghost. But not really a man? His face was so flat. He just came from the shadows? And she was gone. Right, she was a ghost the whole time. She was all white. She had a glow to her that was unnatural. Some might even say supernatural. All we know, for sure, is that Jamie Rain. She ran down to the old creek bridge. She never came back. I always try to stay positive. But this case tested even my jovial nature. Jamie was a kind girl. She was always the first person to help anyone. Well, at least that's what my friend told me. He used to live next to her cousin. No one had any clues. She just disappeared. But I think I know what happened. Aliens. I was there that day. I saw a bright light through the trees near the bridge. It looked like it was hovering. Phantoms, demons, wraiths, poltergeists, spirits. Could have been any number of spectral apparitions. There were no EMF readings, no ghost writing, no signs of ghosts at all. I tried to tell Jeff, but he just wouldn't listen. 
Aliens? <laughs> sure, aliens. That's when I knew. We had to go our separate ways. Despite what everybody says about those two boys, one thing I certainly can say is that they really cared about that girl. More than a lot of people did. Some say that time heals all wounds. But I guess time was not on our side. Time. Time! Jeff, I, I was wrong. Sort of. I've been waiting for this. No, 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 you were wrong too. Sort of. Time traveling ghosts! <sighs> the temporal ripples in the medium of the bridge yes! could have caused the. And the flux matrix. Exactly. Holly, do you realize what this means? Yes. The world will finally know that Jamie was murdered by her boyfriend. After carefully reviewing the evidence, we decided to close the case. No ghosts. No aliens. No phantoms. No specters. No wraiths. No revenants. No demons. No zombies. No vampires, Jeff. no trolls, no goblins, no ghouls. Guys, I cannot stress this enough. No witches, no sailors, no pirates, no ninjas, no baby ninjas, no former baby ninjas, no super bears, no bears at all, no slenderman, no boogeymen, no monsters, no Santa Claus, no Easter bunny, no tooth fairy, no fairies whatsoever, no people who wield knives, hatchets, Axes, machetes, no werewolves, no body snatchers, no ogres. Guys, I cannot stress this enough. No, no ogres, no dragons, no aliens, no time traveling ghosts either. Got it? Good. 